Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. We're looking at motion and screen replacement. Wait, wait, wait. Generic screen replacement. Generic screen replacement. Why generic screen replacement? What's the word? Why generic? Watch and I will show you <laughs> okay. why generic. All right. I think this is really cool. We're going to combine motion's tracking capacity with its publishing capacity to do something that I think can be useful uh, for folks. Okay. Excellent. So the way I'm gonna start this, I'm in Motion's project browser. Instead of starting a new project, I'm gonna choose import as project because what that will do is force the project to exactly match the duration and the settings of the clip I choose. Including the frame rate. Everything. So I'm gonna choose this iPad shot for tracking and choose import as project. Shift Z to fit it to the window. Let me just turn off those rulers there. And if I play through this, it's this shot of this young girl and boy looking at this iPad with nothing very interesting on it, but we want to replace the content. And this is from a great little short film that you shot that we should provide a link at the bottom that, that folks can see. So the shot that I want to track, I'm just going to command I to import and I'm going to grab it. It's going to be this GoPro shot and I'll import that. This is the shot I want to track and I'll choose behaviors, motion tracking, match move. And by default, if we bring up the heads up display with F7, it already knows that I want to track to the clip below. So I don't need to tell it that, but I don't want to do a transformation. I want to do a four corner track. So I'll drag these little trackers that appear to this little magnified view. And I'm going to get them, I'm going to rough them in for right now. So if I go to the inspector now, just to check what I've done, I can adjust these track points here in the uh, inspector, I can select each one and get them a little closer to these corners just to fine tune my track points. Okay, so that's done. My play is at the beginning. I'm going to click analyze. Which is essentially saying track. Yeah, track each of those track points to those corners because they're nice uh, high contrast. Is that adding a bunch there. of keyframes on that layer? It sure is. Keyframes to move it in order to, and actually to distort it right. to match the frame. So now if I deselect everything and let's set an out point about there, command option O, and if I play that through, let's first detach this audio. I've got some audio in here that I don't want for this underlying shot. So I'll just select it and delete it. So now if I play this back, we've got this nicely tracked video. Uh, yeah, nice. Just like that, right? Nice. So. Motion's tracker is can be limited. It can, you know, it'll fail if things move off it's screen. It's definitely not a planner tracker. It's not not a planer tracker, right? Planner, planer. Planer, yeah. <laughs> and and it, it's there, there are more powerful tools, but for something like this, it's great. Let's say that's great, but I wanted a different shot in here. I, this is what's so cool about it for me. I mean, I love the tracking that when you've got a good shot, it works really well, but check this out. I'm going to go back to the finder, and in the finder, uh, I have another clip I want to use instead. I have this clip of this giant sponge. I'll just press the space bar so we can see it. So I want to use that clip instead, yeah. okay? All I need to do is drag that clip on top of the GoPro clip and release the mouse. And now that clip <laughs> is there and tracked. Wow. Okay, so see where I'm getting with generic? Yes. Okay, within motion, I can put any clip in there I want once the track is done. I can right. save this and swap it out. But I want to take that one step further I'm going to select this giant sponge clip and in the inspector, in the image tab, I'm going to turn this into a drop zone. Oh. Click the drop zone tech checkbox and I'm going to clear it. Okay. Now it's a generic. Now it's a generic drop zone. So what we want to do under the file menu, I'm going to choose to publish template. Now we didn't open this as a Final Cut generator. Sure. It was a regular motion project, but you can always publish regular motion projects as templates. So I'll choose publish as template. The first thing I want to do, I'll name it and I'll call it iPad Tracked. And I need to click Publish as Final Cut Generator before I choose a category because if I don't, these categories will be relative to motion and not Final Cut. Sure. So now they're a little backwards that way, but once I've done that, I'll put it in my templates and I'll click Publish. Done. Did you make a thumbnail? No. <laughs> no. Don't bother with it. No. You never do. Don't need like... no stinking thumbnails. <laughs> so in Final Cut, I'll go to my titles and generators sidebar. Here's my templates and here's my uh, iPad tracked. I've got other versions I put in here, but that's okay. Uh, e to do an append edit. And here it is in our project. And if I go to the generator tab of the inspector, there's, there's a drop, a drop zone. zone. Right, wow. so now for some content, let's go back to our library and I'll click that drop zone. Put some pizza and in let's, there. Sure, put some pizza in there, okay? <laughs> Apply clip. And then we've got that pizza in the shot. So 
just a really cool way that we now have this template and the video is specific, but the content of what goes in the tracked area can be anything you want within Final Cut. I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> I think it's cool because I, I can see, let's say, maybe someone working in motion creating all these templates for their editors. So all I have yeah. to do is just drop, drop stuff or in maybe there. Maybe it's a show open. Yeah. And maybe in the show open, you, have, you always have somebody holding something and there's a clip that you go into every time and you push into it. Yeah. You can swap out that clip, but this is part of an overall show open that you repeat. Mm -hmm. It's pretty impressive, yeah. pretty nice. I love how these things work awesome. together. And now I understand what he means by generic. <laughs> okay, good. So check out all of Mark's motion training on, on our uh, website, rippletrain.com. He's like the best motion guy on the planet, and uh, you can see why. Um, and also his wonderful plugins, the plugins that we sell on our site. And we have a bunch of free ones that are created in motion, just like he showed you here. So thanks for watching another episode of MacBook Studio. We'll see you next time.